you guys on, Denise? Uh, Kevin. This is Kevin. Kevin's Corner. Corner. Welcome. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good to hear. Uh, it's getting hot out there. Oh, it's man. burning. I know. Supposed to set a record tomorrow, I think. It's all, yeah, all weekend, so be careful out there. So make sure you come to the bingo room and race the sports book where it's nice and air conditioned. It's really air conditioned in I here. I had to wear my jacket it's today. It's so nice here. in here. So come and join us. <laughs> so what's this uh, bingo thing? It's National Bingo Day on June 27th. We have a national day. There's so, it's really something, huh? It's a thing. Wow. Yeah. You know, didn't you see it was National mm. Donut Day the other day? Yeah, didn't you got a catch day that? for everything. I got a free donut on that day. But we're not giving free. We're giving $1,000 coveralls all day long, 11 a.m. through 11 p.m. What day? $1,000 Monday. coveralls. Monday. Monday. June yeah. 27th. You could stay here all day. You get a $1,000 coverall every single session. That's nice. And at 1 and 7, you get four of them. At uh, 3 and 9, you get three of them. Hey, you know that guy that works with me over at the other place? Yes. He okay. went on a trip and went to one of the Indi Indian casinos in uh, California. Yeah. Went 2,700 playing bingo. No kidding, yeah. see? There's he money so to win out there. Yeah. Friend of mine that works over at that place, he went and uh, there was uh, played a special bingo. Yes. Yeah. Played cool. Donations and stuff. It's good. Nice. There's lots of stuff going on in bingo, so join us here for the exciting stuff. What's going on in the sports book? Well, Last leg of the Triple Crown, Belmont Stakes, mm -hmm. although there's no Triple Crown chance. But the Derby winner is racing in this race. Exciting. Skip the Freakness. And yeah. Come on, uh, that's Rich Strike. Um, but you know what? Th there's only eight horses running. Wow. And he's only the third favorite on the morning line. And look what he did. And he was a monster that the day, wasn't he? He just came out the gate and went. But you know, there's other horses. You know, there's, it's going to be a competitive race. That will be on Kevin's board, but I won't put it on there till tomorrow. So tell me, historically, for a horse to come out like that, is that something that normally would happen to have, you know, get there that fast, have good time? What was the last time that something historically uh, would be like that? Okay. He ran, he was much faster in that stretch. I remember we discussed that. Yeah. We watched that replay. Yeah. But I think that was more of the other horses getting tired. Mm -hmm. Because I'll tell you what, you, you all heard of the horse secretariat. Oh, yeah. So back in 1972 or 73, ran the fastest ever since they went to a mile and a quarter. There's been 127 Kentucky Derbies that ran a mile and a quarter there. That's the fastest one, secretariat. Okay, ran a 159 and four. Okay, it's one minute, 59 yeah. seconds. This horse ran a 202 and something. Three seconds slower. So what that means in horse racing speed, that means Secretariat finished Rich Strike would have been 35 yards behind him. Wow. Almost the length of your bingo room. And he would have, like, almost been lapping him. <laughs> well, not quite, but, <laughs> yeah, he, that's how fast Secretariat was. Wow. And, you know, there's nobody been like that horse since, you know, few years back, the times would have been like one length off, mm -hmm. but most of the time, Secretariat's times would have beat every other Kentucky Derby by 15 to 20 lengths. So is it safe to say if Rich Strike runs the same way at the Derby, without those other two that are, you know, if he's the third favorite, that should be a really good race. Well, it, it certainly will be, and, mm -hmm. and who knows where the betting's going to go, right. you know. Um, you know, you'll get the odds or whatever when the horse goes off. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's going to be exciting. It's always exciting. The eight horses are dynamite. Yeah. I can't wait to break that race down tonight when I get the race report. Awesome. It'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, you know what I did this week on Kevin's board? Listen to this real can't quick. Wait. The I'm doing the props. Mm -hmm. Only props every day. Oh, okay. So here's what we got for the NBA tomorrow. Okay, Friday night. Jason Tatum. Mm -hmm. Celtic star. Mm -hmm. I went under points, rebounds, and assists, under 40 and a half. So we're calling it prop week on Kevin's board. Okay. I've already whacked two of them in strikeouts in some games. Over wow. strikeouts, under strikeouts. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's rolling pretty good. All right. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. And the reason I did that is because we're the only ones that offer all that. You got the props. I mean, uh, 
you got to do it. So yeah. we'll, I put it on that board, and when some, we're going to talk about it. Right? All right. Sounds good. All right. So check us out. Check out the board in the sports book. We're always here at samstownlv.com. We'll see you next week. See ya.